Aww. Dog meat can't doggy paddle fast enough to go against the current. <laughs> He's just slowly floating away to sea. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to Fallout 4. So, next thing I'm going to do after having just explored the sea out here, looking for crashed ships and stuff like that, is let's go to the factory that we saw around here. So let's go there and explore it. In fact, it is that one. Hey, dog meat. Oh, good to see you. I didn't think you could actually get up here. Well, gonna have to get wet again, my friend. Put our normal armor back on. There we go. All right, factory time. What if this factory will have synths in it like the last one? Long neck, Lakowski's cannery. Better than that old cram or brahmin that's been sitting out in the sun for days. Uh, there, there are people out there who are hungry. You just gotta sell up the product a bit more. I'm sorry, but ten cans is all I can commit to right now. It was selling like crazy for a while there, but there's been talk about people getting sick. People, people get sick all the time. That, that, that has nothing to do with my product. Besides, I mean. I, I'm only selling the meat you people bring me. If there's something wrong with it, it's your own damn fault. Oh, so now it's my fault? Forget it, the deal's off. You want to sell your product to the people out there? Then you can get out there and do it your damn self. What? Hey, oh, oh, come on. Fine, leave. You'll be back. Bitch. Well, I wasn't expecting oh, this. Sorry you had to see that. Just some trade negotiations. Distributors. Always trying to talk their way into a bigger cut of the profit. I'm Theodore Collins, and I run Longneck Lakowski's. Purveyor of the finest canned food in all the Commonwealth. Bet you work up quite an appetite traveling. Wouldn't you like to sate that hunger? With a good can of Longneck Lakowski's. This guy seems really shady and douchey. And all that talk about people getting sick, no way, I don't want to eat that food. What was that about people getting sick? Look, she was just angling for a better deal. A few people may have gotten sick, but I mean, I, a couple of contaminated cans doesn't mean it isn't still the best product. Are you interested in buying some of Long Neck Lakowski's delicious canned meat? No, I'm not. You're doing a really bad job of selling your product, dude. What do you mean, contaminated? Uh, there might have been some mole rats that got into the machinery. I, I mean, a couple of cans were probably just uh, didn't get sealed right and spoiled. But look, 
I, I, I swear to you, I, that, that I run a clean shop. If you went back there right now, you wouldn't see a single mole rat near the machines. Except on the cutting table. But there's nothing wrong with mole rat meat. We use a mix, you know, to give you the best of everything. We buy old cans and the best meat the Commonwealth has, so we can offer the finest product on the market. Looking to take a few cans home with you? So you're saying you wouldn't mind if I inspected the facility? Or, you know what, rather than that, let's just be honest here. You have a mole rat problem. Let me fix it. I might be able to take care of that mole rat problem for you. Really? That would be great. Can't stand the little buggers myself. I'll even give you a little something for your trouble. It better not be meat, because I'm not going to eat it if you give it to me. Wow, this is really neat. I, I was expecting just another place full of sensorators or something like that, but this is something very different. Huh. I can actually take these ads and it's not considered stealing. to have a look, but uh, stay out of the old basement. It isn't safe down there. Sure, I'm totally going to stay out of the old basement. Where is the old basement I'm going in? Where is it? That's the first place I want to go. Yes. What do you think, Dogmeat? Do you smell anything weird about this place? Hold. Let's go. Yeah, it smells fishy. It smells... moly. Oh, they got robots doing the gutting. <laughs> what? Hello there! Hello? Good day to you! Good day! I see a bunch of things. Well, I did see a bunch of things on the compass below me. There's one of them. Is that the old basement, perhaps? What does this quest do, uh, say to do specifically, by the way? Just clear them out. Big red button? Sure. Someone made a comfy little place here for themselves. Some drugs, some water, and a bunch of pillows. And then they died. I wonder if that was before the apocalypse?
Okay, a couple places to go. This, I'm guessing, goes down to the basement? Yeah, it looks like it. That goes deep down. Before that, I want to check out what is over here on the other side. Um, how do I get there? Over this way. an assault rifle in there. Bobblehead! <gasps> Bingo. Prices are permanently 5% better. Sweet. Permanently gain better prices when buying from a vendor. Wow. Let's see if we can open this thing up. Our grasp likeness one. Dream no. Rigid. Nope. Oh, there we go. It was dream or something like that. Huh. I thought I tried that one. I guess not. Automatic combat shotgun. Doesn't sound that special, but I'll take it. It's gotta be pretty special, though, if it's the only damn thing in here. Let's take a look at it. Worth 130? Pretty good. Hmm. Let's give this thing a test against the mole rats. Ooh. Feels nice to use. It's got a good kick to it. Yeah, and I'm just killing mole rats, so I don't need to use my best weapons and waste their ammo on them. Just use the combat shotgun. Can't open it from this end. All right, now it's time to go down. Come on, dog meat. Come on. Hey, head over there. Come on. Go there. Come on. Come on. Come on. There. No, dog meat. What are you doing? Over here. I think Dogme doesn't know how to get on this thing, because I think when I point through the grating, it maybe thinks that I'm trying to tell it to go down below rather than actually on the surface. That's what it seems like Move is out. happening. Yeah, because it doesn't actually Move here. come onto this thing when I point down. Over there. So instead, here. I am going to push you onto it. Here you go, boy. Here you go. No! No, 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 no. Stay, 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 boy, stay. Dog me. Hey. Get into position. Come on. Come on. Oh my god, dog me. I mean, I know I could just go down there and you'll probably teleport, but I really want to make sure you come with me. Okay, dog me. Hey. Dog me. Right here, boy. You can do this, boy. I believe in you. Go. Now stay. Wait there. Press the button. Go, go. There we go. Oh. Heads up. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Local elevator controls disabled by system administrator. Confront Theodore Collins. Hmm? Who? Who's Theodore Collins? Remote door control. Open it. Elevator control. Elevator controls have been disabled remotely. Please contact system administrator. Does that mean I can't leave? I think that's what that means. I can't leave until I deal with this. Logs. Still works. Let's see if this old terminal still works. Seems to be more or less intact got the robots working, but I'm still reading up on how to use the canning retorts. It looks like they're broken, but apparently this place was built on the ruins of an even older cannery. So I'm going to try to see if there's any parts to scavenge. Repairs. 
running about a week behind schedule, but I've got the retorts up and running again. Managed to find the parts I needed, though it took longer than expected when some ghouls broke through the wall. One of the traders I've been talking to got here before I had things ready, and half the meat he sold me spoiled before I could get it canned. Had to mix in some meat from the mole rats I found down here, but who's going to know the difference? Explosion. Damn it. Retort 2 blew a hole in, in the side and the explosion shook loose some of the bricks down here. Took out part of the damn walkway. That hole in the wall widened and more ghouls keep getting in. I'm going to have to get a fence set up down here to keep them out. Mole rats. Even running with only one retort, this has been working out way better than I could have hoped. That book I found on marketing really seemed to be doing the trick. Only problem now is that the traders can't ever seem to bring me enough meat. I've been having to mix in more and more mole rat. Shame, since I've always thought they were kind of cute. I've got to find some other meat to use if I'm going to keep up this level of production. Wait a minute. You son of a bitch. I don't know what the hell's going on behind that door right now. But, I just realized what he's doing. He's been mixing in mole rat meat, and even that's not enough to keep up with production. So he said he's going to have to start finding other sources of meat. And he also mentioned a ghoul problem, and we know that people are getting sick from the meat. You know what that means? He is mixing in... Fucking... Ghoul meat. He's mixing in ghoul meat. What do you bet? Son of a bitch. Alright, let me take some rat away. I didn't want to shoot it, it was so tiny and cute. Well, here's the mole rats. I think there's some other meats on the shelves, though. I'll check them out in just a second. Got it. Yep, mongrel meat. Tactical calibrated, powerful hunting rifle. That's yeah, pretty well upgraded. Dog meat, come here. Heads up. I need you. No, don't walk right away. Right here, pal. Take my stuff. Hold position. Oh, right, my shotgun's not equipped. Do I have any open slots? Yeah, let's put you on five. Gonna have a lot of baking to do once I get out of here. So much meat. Oh crap, lots of radiation. Hmm. Why is this stuff so irradiated?
Oh shit. Help me, dog meat. Pit him to the ground. There you go. Good boy. Yeah, my def my damage with this weapon is definitely pretty crappy, but it's doing the job. And I don't have to worry about using up too much ammunition. No, don't drink the water! Oh, I didn't mean to. Splish splash goes the skeleton. Legendary. Legend. Oh, I didn't even realize I was almost dead. I must have been poisoned. Okay, let's not use the shotgun in here. Come on, out of the water. Did I just one shot the legendary ghoul? My god, I think I did. I did. Penetrating rolling pin. What kind of a weapon is that? Ignores 30% of the target's damage and energy resistance. Wow. It's a beefy rolling pin. So is this from like the old cannery that the other place was built on? This place just seems older down here. It's really cool. I love this relationship we have, dog mate. You squeak like a cute little squeaky toy dog and then you grab the opponents and force them to the ground while I shoot them in the face with a shotgun. Hmm. Should I put on the hazmat suit? Yeah, I'm going to. Well... Does it matter? I'm gonna take Rat away anyway, aren't I? Eh, I'll still put it on. <laughs> That's right. Dogmeat's shorter, so Dogmeat has to swim in this water, even though I can walk. Oh, Look at you. Look at you. <gasps> Secret? Where does this go? <coughs> Excuse me.
Jesus Christ. This one's really hard. There we go. Nice. Not a good time to drink. I think Dogme just blocked the ghoul from being able to get to me. Good dog meat, even though you can't you can't grab their leg and put them to the ground when you're swimming, you can still block them. Oh god. Shit. Oh my god! <laughs> it killed me while I was sprinting. How? Thing must be so fast. I was trying to get some distance so I can put my proper armor on and switch to a better weapon. Jesus. You know what? I'm just gonna not put my hazmat suit on. There's the glowing one. Come on, dog me. Need your help. Trip, 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 trip. trip. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Jesus. This thing is terrifying. Hold on, I need to take some rat away. My health is just totally ruined. There we go, it tripped. Alright, we're good. Just needed to make a trip. It's okay, dog me. No, d uh. Sucks trying to loot bodies that are in the water.
place is gargantuan. Oh god. Putrid glowing one. Holy shit. Okay, hold hold on, hold on. I need grenades or something. Jesus Christ. I'm gonna have to blow up dog meat? Oh no. You'll be okay, dog meat. I'll stick a stim pack in you. I've got 74. It'll be fine. Baseball grenade? Do some baseball grenades. Baseballs! Catch! Broken. I'm gonna crit you. Let's do a crit on your head right now. Okay. <laughs> Killed it in one hit. That is gonna save me a lot of pain. Alright. Oh, dog meat. I'm sorry. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. It was cruel of me to throw... To, to play go fetch with explosive baseballs with dog meat around. Is there a turret up here? At a dead end. It's like the most use useless place for a turret to be. Nice. Yeah, I'm running kind of low on ammunition. I've got about 200 shots for this and about 60 shots for this, which is not great. I'd be comfortable with double that, but this is a bit low. You can blow me up. Who set that mine there? And who set this one? Hmm? Hmm? Shit. Oh, fuck. I tried to disarm it, but... Couldn't find the right thing. I guess it was too late. This is a stronger turret than the other ones, because I shot it and it didn't blow up instantly. Oh. Maybe I just shot it in the wrong place before. Now, how do I get down there? Because I'm about to go up, but I also want to explore down there. What was that? Oh, this is the chain door. I told you to stay out of the basement. Ah. Now that you know my little secret, I'll just have to kill you. 
Hey there. Well, well, well. <laughs> yep. A cut up glowing one. I knew it. I freaking knew it. It's ghoul meat. Just what I was hoping for. Cuddling around looking for something that wants to blow me to flippers. Ready or not, here I come. Are the robots coming after me too? Are they gonna try to butcher me like they butchered the meat? What do you bet I can kill you in one hit, buddy? Oh, you're dead. And your weapon's spinning in midair for some reason. Well, Theodore Collins, consider him confronted and dealt with. Now I just gotta deal with the robots. Yep, it's the end of the quest. Yeah, let's see how strong these robots are. Well, it didn't die in one hit with the sniper rifle, which means it's not a complete pushover. Oh, I'm spotted. By something. Somewhere. Well, while we're up here, let's go loot that guy's body. <laughs> it's embedded in the window, that's why it's flopping around. It's a crappy gun, too. Alright, well he got his key. I don't know what that key opens though. What have I seen that was locked? Oh. I love how destructible the bodies are, especially the mechanical bodies in this game, like the synths and these robots. I shot its front plate and it came off, he could it expose the innards. It's really cool. So yeah, what is that key to? Hold on, there's one place that I... I'm not entirely sure I explored. <laughs> yeah, what is down here? Have I been down here? Oh yeah, this is just behind all this stuff. Yeah, okay, nothing special. Does this work now? Nope. I'm still not sure what the key's for, though. Oh, crap. Uh. Oh, god. Does it. Do I have to go all the way around through the water again? Oh, no. Okay, I'll be right back. There we go. Found my way back outside. And the outside world is, uh misty and dark and spooky place. The birds are watching us. <laughs> it really is really spooky out here. Something about being near the water, being at the coast, and just like foggy weather and stuff, it's just really creepy. Alright, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. 
That was a really fun little quest. That was not what I was expecting to find inside. Which makes it all the more interesting. It's nice to have a break from the usual kind of raider and synths and ghouls kind of thing. Even though I did have to fight some ghouls. But a little cannery operation where ghouls are being used to supplement the meat and making people sick. It's a cool little mini story. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to continue on to the Nahant Sheriff's Department.